Hey guys, welcome back again. Got another little uh, tech video for you here. Today we're going to be discussing our AV over IP system and how to create a video wall with it. So uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time with any silly intro or anything. Let's just dive right in. So uh, you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get logged into my controller. And you show up at the mapping screen first off. So we can see here I've got one transmitter. I have four receivers. I'm going to turn these into a two by two video wall. To do so, I'm going to go ahead and click up here the three bars, jump over to video wall, and here you'll see our video wall preset section. So this is where I define the layout and where I assign a transmitter and assign my receivers to their respective positions in the video wall. So the first step you're going to do is go down here to the layout. You're going to pick your layout, so I'm going to select a 2x2. Two two. Uh, my transmitter, I've only got one, so it's already selected there, but uh, if you have more than one, make sure you click on this highlight your transmitter that you want and now you simply drag the receivers over to their position in the the video wall here you will see I've already got my uh, receivers labeled here so it makes it pretty easy so I just drag one to one two to two three to three and four to four almost makes sense and uh, once I've done that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna store this as a preset you don't have to if you're just doing a permanent video wall but it's a good idea because if anything ever gets uh, reset from a power outage or something, you can always just recall your settings right here. So I'm going to call this uh, Blu-ray. Oh, not Blu-ray. Let's try Blu-ray. Let's go Blu-ray video wall. And I'm going to save that. So now I've got the ability to take eight presets, and you'll see my top one is named there. So now that that's saved, I'm going to go ahead and click Enable. And if you check out our video wall here, you'll notice that everything jumps into video wall mode instead of four independent screens. So that's step one. The next step that we need to do is our bezel correction. So what bezel correction is, is it's compensating for the gap that's left in between each TV from the frame of the TV itself. So we put in some settings here and it kind of deletes those pixels and stretches the image out and makes it look seamless. Otherwise, uh, everybody's fingers look about three feet long and their noses are about four feet long. It's, it's not a good look. So we'll try to avoid that if we can. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, multiple bezel adjustment. So this is kind of a little bit easier method of doing it. Uh, it's not quite as accurate, but it gets pretty close and it doesn't involve any measurement. If you're doing a really large video wall, more than two by two, I'd recommend doing the measurement method, which we'll go over after this, but this is great for just a down and dirty, fast little two by two setup. So basically the way this works is you highlight a screen and now you've got these adjustments here. You'll see that I've got top edge shift, bottom edge shift, and then left and right edge shift. What that is doing is that is shifting the pixels at whichever edge of the TV you're choosing. So let's say it's my top edge. If I increase the value, it's gonna move the edge of the screen up. If I decrease it, it's gonna move the edge of the screen down. So for TV one, it's my top left screen in the video wall position. So I'm gonna be adjusting my bottom edge and my right edge so that I can eliminate those touching, uh, those edges that are touching the other screens. So I happen to know from tweaking on this already that the value for the screens I've got is about eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, actually I shouldn't do the top edge. I just said bottom. So. How about we try the bottom edge? So I'm gonna go minus eight on my bottom edge and that's gonna bring the screen down a little bit and on my right edge, I'm gonna do a plus eight. So that's gonna effectively shift it in towards the center and eliminate the area where those uh, bezels are. So once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply and I'm gonna go and select my next transmitter or next receiver and deselect uh, the receiver I was just working with. Now that I'm on TV two, I'm actually gonna be adjusting the left edge and the bottom edge. So I wanna make sure I zero out the right edge. My bottom edge is gonna be the same as it was for TV one. So now on my left edge, because TV two is on the top right, I'm gonna be taking away from the left edge to make it cheat towards the center. So that's gonna be a minus eight there, and I'm gonna apply that. And now I just move on to my other two receivers here. So for TV three, now I'm on the bottom row. So I'm going to be adjusting the top edge and I'm going to be adjusting the right edge. So I'm going to zero this guy out and zero this guy out. And for the top edge, I'm going to give it a plus eight. And for the right edge, I'm going to give it a plus eight. So that's going to go up and in again towards the center is where we're moving. 
apply that one and then go ahead and jump over to TV4. Top edge is going to be the same measurement. Uh, I'm going to zero out my right edge and of course we're doing the left edge now and that's going to be a minus eight. I'm going to apply that and now all of my video wall receivers have been kind of cheated in towards the center. It's erased that gap where the frame of the TV is and now it looks like one big smooth picture albeit minus the giant plus in the middle from the, the TV edges. But not much we can do with that. We're not magicians here. So once you've done that, then you can just go right back up here, click save on your video wall preset, you're stored, you're done. And it's as easy as that to do your bezel correction and set up a basic video wall. If you wanna be a little more precise, or if you're doing a little bit bigger of a video wall, let's say I'm going all the way to a five by five, that's a lot of work to go through and do all those edges. There's a lot of room to make mistakes there especially when you get into those center screens and you have to adjust all four edges. So the better way to do that is the next one here where we're going to go to advanced options. And this one, we actually use a tape measure and we're going to measure our screens and measure our bezels so that we can get an exact idea of how much we need to move this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the video screen and uh, we'll catch you there. Okay. So here we are in front of the video wall. I've got my uh, big manly contractor grade tape measure right here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through measuring your screens. So when you look at the video wall interface under the advanced section, the measurements are listed as OH and OW and then VH and VW and basically that's outside height, outside width and then video height and video width. So what we're going to do is take a measurement of the overall size of the screen on the outside edge for the height, same thing for the width. And then we're going to take a measurement from the point at which the pixels inside the frame start to the point at which they start at the other edge of the TV. We're going to do the same thing for the width. Uh, make sure you got a pen and a paper to write that down and make sure you have something that can measure in centimeters or millimeters. These measurements are put in in millimeters. I know, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, but hang on a minute. I, don't, I, I use inches, not centimeters. Well, sorry, sooner or later, we got to join the rest of the world, right? So uh, let's do it. I'm going to take it from the outside edge of the screen on the top to the outside edge of the screen on the bottom and I'm going to record that measurement and that is going to be my OH measurement in millimeters. Again, very important otherwise it's not going to work right. Uh, for the inside edge now I'm going to go to where the pixels stop. On this TV it's actually a little bit farther than where the, the plastic frame ends. So you want to go right to where the picture starts and stops for the best result. So I'm going to go from there down to the same point at the bottom of the TV and that is going to be my VH measurement. So I'm going to put that in. Uh, I actually already wrote all these down, so if it looks like I'm not writing, I cheated. So for the width here, I'm going to do the outside frame again. Put that right in there, and I'm going to go to right here. And that's going to be my OW measurement. And then I'm going to go right from this inside edge here. Be careful not to scratch the TV screen. And then I'm going to take it over to here. I'm going to mark that measurement from the inside edge and that is going to be my VW measurement. Once I get those all written down, if you're measuring in centimeters, go ahead and add your zero, convert it to millimeters, and then we will jump back on the computer and punch all those in. Okay, we're back at the operations center here across the room behind the desk. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to my advanced options section under video wall. So once I get in here, I've got a pull down that has all my receivers listed. So obviously I'm going to start with receiver number one. Before we can put in these values, what we need to go is uh, scroll down and enter in the layout for our video wall. So I've already done this. Yours will probably be blank, but go ahead and size up your video wall. In my case, it's a two by two. Then the next thing we need to do is uh, locate the position of each receiver. This is very important, this part right here, because You'd think the top left position for TV one would actually be row one, column one. It's actually row zero, column zero. So don't let that catch you out. So I'm gonna go zero, zero down here, scroll up, make sure I've got TV one selected. And now I can go ahead and punch in my values in what? Millimeters, that's right, you guys are listening, I like it. So OW here, for my measurement, it was 1230, 1230 millimeters. My OH, that's gonna be 700. And then VW 1210, VH is going to be 681. So now that I've done this, all I have to do is click apply. 
and I'll be able to watch on my video wall. And, and I don't know if you caught that or not, but the top left TV actually shifted in a little bit. You could see it happen. So that one's good to go. So for my next step now, I need to select TV2. Uh, it preserves all the measurements in there, so it speeds things up. You only have to punch all those numbers in once. Now we need to go down, and I am going to be doing row zero, and it's going to be column number one now. And that'll be TV number two. Hit apply. Again, you'll see that screen kind of shift a little bit. Now we'll go to TV three and do it. And that's going to be row zero, column zero. Click apply, watch our screen. You see it get kind of crazy and oh, what did I do? I made it row zero, column zero, which is TV one. So really this is going to be row one, column zero. Good job, Steve. I think it was Stan. That guy's around here somewhere trying to jinx me. You got to watch out for that guy. He's sneaky. Never trust a guy in glasses. Well, except for Florante. He's all right. So now we're going to go to row one, column one, and select TV four and hit apply. And not really. All you guys out there with glasses, I trust you. Honest. So there was TV four adjusted. That's all we have to do now. So now when we go ahead and look at our video wall, there's no more distortion. We've got a nice, clean, even image all the way across. And our uh, bezel correction is set. And that's pretty much it for setting up your video wall. So I hope you found this helpful. And uh, stay tuned. We'll get you another video out here very soon about using the KVM function of our AV over IP system. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up setting up our video wall, doing all the proper bezel correction. Hope you found that helpful. And in the meantime, till we get another great video out to you guys, make sure you check out our other content on our YouTube channel. Check out our website for any helpful tips. Till next time, be safe out there.